Well, this is what we'll be making today, this beautiful spaghetti carbonara. Well, come on, let's get cooking. Well, it's lunchtime here today, and we're going to be making some spaghetti carbonara. Just put in there salt in the water there for the spaghetti but first we'll be frying off this bacon we're trying to render the fat out of this bacon uh, the cream sauce that we'll be making will be from the combination of that fat and some of the pasta water as is traditional so I'm going to show you how to do that let's put our bacon in here as you can see there's enough plenty of fat there. I'm just going to let it render, so perhaps 15 or 20 minutes. Um, about halfway through I'm going to stick the garlic in there. You'll notice there's four pieces here. I've quartered it and that should be quite nicely um, browned and, uh, and a little bit crispy, but, but certainly not burnt. We're going to keep that heat down. Right, that's starting to render quite nicely now, so we can pop our garlic in. And that water's just about up to speed, so uh, we can put our spaghetti in as well. Not too many things going on here, but timing normally will make a better meal than not, so keep your eye on the clock. Okay, that water is now up to a rolling boil, so in with our pasta, and you notice the full legs there I have broken in half. This makes it a lot easier to eat. That's the only reason I've done that. Endless twirling is very fine and um, I'm sure it makes for a spectacle but um, I prefer to get it on my fork and into my mouth as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, look at that. Look at it going all nice and crispy and all the fat coming out with the bacon. That's going to emulsify with the pasta water and make a beautiful sauce. This is going to be a fabulous carbonara. Right, we'll do a long shot here and just show what's going on. This is already here, the bacon. We're going to now just take this cooked spaghetti Right in there, we don't, we don't mind about the water. We need that water, that beautiful pasta water. So this is basically the flour in the pasta coming out during the boiling. So we're not going to get a floury taste because it's cooked. So as you can see, there's not a lot of pasta water there but I can take some out of here my ladle let's have a quick look let's try a couple of tablespoons first and then just swirl it around and if you can see it sort of turning a milky colour here we are starting to go that way now. That means the emulsification is taking place. It's also an indication that your pasta is not drying out from this process either. So that's all good. I think I might need some more that certainly looks like it's evaporating a little bit. Mm. 
and then I'll get a bowl, serve it, and we'll get some um, Parmesan cheese and some ground black pepper. That just looks and smells divine. All right, let's get that served. Right, so we're going to get in there with some of the black pepper. Absolutely essential. Look at that, oh the smell of that black pepper is beautiful. And we're going to take some parmesan, just scatter that over there. Oh, look at that, hey. And I think I'd better taste this on camera because it's just, it's really asking me to. Mm. Oh. Oh, best lunch ever. Mmm. So there you are, the spaghetti carbonara, done the right way, the traditional way, and I will catch you on the next recipe. Thank you so much for watching.